Hello friends, welcome to freepage.com and this is my new project online bill payment system and for developing this project I have used the Java JSP and MySQL and I am using the JDK version 1.8 you can use a 1.8 or higher so for database I am using the MySQL server and the my database version is 5.6 and for connecting the database with the JSP and Java I am using the MySQL J connector which you can easily get on the MySQL website official website okay and for front end part i have used html css and javascript this is the bootstrap theme the little bootstrap theme not the full bootstrap so uh, you can easily open this website on to on your mobile devices also because uh, this is the bootstrap theme so the screen will be adjusted according to the device okay so this is the home page of the web of the project and I have used some of the jQuery library for giving some good effects in the project. So you can see this is the slider which I have used, uh, which I have developed using the jQuery and some of the menu and the internal validation uh, for implementing that. I have also I have also used the jQuery library. So for uh, validation, I have used the jQuery validator. Uh, you can get it easily on the uh, on internet so you can easily integrate it in your application also so let's start with the functionality and uh, this is a mini project not the major project very basic project with a single user uh, role so the single user role is the customer so customer the main fo uh, focus of for developing this project is us providing a single platform for customer to pay their all of the bills it may be a electricity bill it may be a mobile bill a mo it may be a telephone bill so i have developed this project uh, for uh, implementing those functionalities so from where customer will be able to pay all of the bills from here okay so let's start the function exploring the functionality one by one so you can see this is the home page of the project and then this is the about us so this is the very little bit about the uh, online billing system and this is the customer registration so if there is any new customer then customer will be registered on the website using this customer registration form and then this is the customer login and from where customer will be able to log in and the contact us page so this is a static contact us page i am not saving the data into the database and same menu is above the header part so you can navigate the pages from here also okay so let's start with the customer login uh, i am logging uh, with the customer so it's the customer and test so this is the dashboard of the customer so you can see this is the online billing system dashboard this is the customer dashboard you can see the above menu has been changed now there is a payment history pay bills my account and change password so this is totally role based menu so if customer is logging into the system the above menu will be changed if it's if the customer logs out from the system the above menu will be changed you can see all the customer administration menu has been has gone because there is no uh, customer login here so the menu is totally session based so according to the session the menu will be changed again i am logging to the system so customer and the customer uh, user id and test so this is the payment history so a customer will be able to see all of the payment history what he made into uh, made uh, made in past so and uh, also he will be able to see uh, the details that what bills he has paid and again so these are details so and if you want if he want to print the receipt then just he clicks on the print receipt and the print window will be open and customer will be able to take the print out of that page okay so now this is the payment history page now this is the pay bills so this is the payment uh, page where from where the what type of bill uh, the customer wants to pay and the consumer number and the provider provider means now there is a two providers the karnataka water board karnataka electricity bill board so there are there can be a lot of providers just like a tata sky airtel bill 
telephone bill or water bill or electricity bill any type of so any number of providers you can add from the database so these both of the drop downs are dynamic so if you want to amend the values in that then there is no need to change anything in the code just open the database and open that table and add the data there and that data will be rendered here right so both of the drop downs are dynamic and there is a bill type that what type of bill you want to pay that is a water bill or electricity bill and the email id mobile number and total amount how much you want to pay and the payment option internet or credit debit card <laughs> okay so let's start uh, mobile bill and the consumer number this and the electricity bill email caution and then to uh, 1000 and credit card debit card and proceed to payment so once i click on the proceed to payment there is a sample payment page is here and just enter your credit card number so this is the sample credit card and the name and the type of credit card expired date year cv number and the amount is paid is 1000 and make payment so once you click on the make payment that you will get the receipt so your payment reference number is 1011 and you can easily put in this page also so this is the uh, uh, cycle for making the payment and this is the my account section so from here you, uh, customer will be able to update uh, the his details and the change password and the contact us and the logout page so once customer logout from the system then all the session will be destroyed and none of the internal page will be accessed without the login okay and for running this project you can easily configure this project on your tomcat server so this project has been tested over the tomcat 7 and tomcat 8 you can easily run this project on NetBeans environment as well as eclipse so you can configure the project uh, on your NetBeans platform as well as the eclipse platform also for operating system you can run this project on your linux environment on your macbook on your windows environment because this is a java so there is no operating system restrictions just install the required software just like a jdk uh, tomcat and the mysql and the mysql connector and this project will start working on that operating system okay so thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel freeprojects.com thank you thank you very much <laughs>